corrugated cardboard factory in the northwest of England, where they make a wide range of cardboard boxes for retailers and for brand names. Well, on, on its most basic level, corrugated is used to package all the goods that we buy on a day-to-day -day basis. All the brand names, all the retailers use it. Virtually everything that we buy nowadays comes packed in corrugated, or it's being packed in corrugated at some point. The aesthetic properties of corrugated are some of the most important. We can print in different colours, we can put on a company's logo, we can design, we can have anything that the customer wants printed on the box. And one of the most important developments we have now is what's called shelf-ready packaging, where a box goes onto a shelf in the supermarket, it's printed clearly, the customer knows what they want, they can see the company logo, it's easy for the supermarket to get it on shelf and it's in a really efficient way of, of using packaging. Corrugated packaging can bring some really strong economic benefit. The designers in the industry know how to make the best use of space. They can come up with new ideas, perhaps arranging things differently on the pallet in the lorry. And best use of space on the pallets means more pallets in the lorry, means fewer lorries on the road. And that makes economic sense as well as providing a really strong environmental story as well. There are some really important environmental benefits when it comes to corrugated packaging. We have a very high recycling rate, more than 80% of all the corrugated cardboard boxes in the country are already being recycled. And if you look at the content of the box, the box is actually made of recycled fibre. Typically three quarters of the fibre in the box has already been recycled. And if you think further back to the original fibres, it's important to remember that we do not cut down rainforests. We use sustainably managed forests in Scandinavia. For every tree we cut down, we plant three. So forests are growing in Europe by one and a half million football pitches every year. We have more forestry now than we had at any point in the 20th century. And when trees are cut down, it's typically for the furniture and for construction industry. They use the main part of the tree and paper making takes the small branches and the sawdust. So we're using the offcuts from someone else's industry. Corrugated packaging was invented more than 100 years ago. In the early years of the 20th century, it very rapidly became the world's favourite packaging material. It replaced wooden crates packed with straw because it could do a better job, more cheaply and more efficiently. We've got some great opportunities in the future. We're always speaking to the customer and trying to identify what they want. We've brought new developments onto the market, things like shelf-ready packaging, point-of-sale display in a cinema foyer, the cutouts, advertising the films, that's all in corrugated. Every year the corrugated industry is using lighter weight papers to do the same job. The box is still as strong as it always was, but with lighter weight papers we're doing more with less. We've got more developments coming and frankly we don't know what they're going to be. The customer's going to ask us for something which has just occurred to them. We won't have thought of it before, but we bring the flexibility, the versatility of corrugated, and we can react to the customer requirements. We can give them what they want, and it'll be something innovative that hasn't been done before.